Oh, that feels bad. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. It is fantastic to be here with an amazing deck, but before we jump into that, just a quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It does enter you for all future giveaways. There's also plenty of other ways you can enter, but we've got one going on right now for a free Kamigawa draft booster box. If you want to check that out, all you got to do is subscribe, but we got more information over on our uh, website, itresolvesmtg.com. We also have a video here on YouTube, but let's talk today's deck. It is an, a, a, a Rakdos reanimator list. Uh, built by Affinity for MTG, so I just want to thank Affinity for MTG uh, for posting this over on Aetherhub, creating this list, and sharing it on his channel. Please go check him out, I will link him down below, so please go hang out with him. Uh, fantastic channel, does a lot of really cool stuff, so really uh, a, a great place to go for uh, more magic content. But this is Rakdos Reanimator. The idea is to get Olivia Crimson Bride down, hopefully bring back some things like Morog, uh, which will allow us to get extra attacks in. Uh, and then Drana, which is going to help us keep anything that we bring back with Olivia because this is also a vampire. So there's a little bit of a, an interesting play pattern here that we can get out of this. Now, a lot of our deck list here, uh, we've got kind of the standard black, motto black, mill control kind of package. So Blood Chief's Thirst, the Shambling Gas, and the Eye Witch. So Eye Witch is going to allow us to uh, pick up some lessons from our sideboard here. We've got Deadly Disputes, so we can go ahead and draw some cards, create some treasure tokens, get us where we need to be. A one of Infernal Grasp, which is kind of interesting. Infernal Grasp being very good in my opinion, but uh, it does make sense because we do run Blood on the Snow, which is going to help us bring some stuff back as well. So we just need to get enough to, to get to six mana, so that way we can kind of sweep and then make a uh, massive, massive play on the, the back end of that. Uh, Undead Butler. When it enters the battlefield, mill three cards. Uh, when it dies, exile it. You can return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This is just another way that we can reanimate uh, or bring something back at the very least, which is helpful. Uh, Skullport Merchant, a nice way to create treasure, but then also draw cards off of those treasures. So if we just don't have what we need, uh, we can certainly either sacrifice the treasure or some of these early one drops that we need. Uh, Felstinger, a great way to uh, not only stall up and clog up the board because of that death touch, which is really nice, but we can also exploit a, you know, cheap little 1-1 one -one that we've got here uh, to draw two cards, and yeah, we lose two life, but that's kind of fine. So uh, drawing cards and furthering our game plan is obviously the main thing. Uh, now, to go through these abilities, when Drana attacks, the defending player chooses a non-legendary creature card in your graveyard. Uh, you return that card to the battlefield with an additional 1-1 counter on it, and it's a vampire in addition to its other types. So again, really, really helping uh, with the Olivia Crimson Bride thing, because when uh, the, the downside that I have found, at least, when I play Olivia, is very simply, you get it out, you get a good solid attack in, but then the opponent just removes Olivia, and then it's an immediate two-for-one because they also get to kill whatever else you bring back with it since you don't know or you no longer control a legendary vampire so drana helps with that this is a legendary vampire it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to just get an easy two for one if that makes sense uh we already talked about morog but basically this uh essentially just boasts up and and basically makes sure that you get as much damage in as possible by giving you extra attack phases with that landfall trigger uh, and then each creature you control gets plus one plus zero for each time it attack this turn so you can really do some damage there uh dreadhound is the last card it's a six six for six when it enters the battlefield you mill three cards and then whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from your deck each opponent loses one life a deck not just your deck so this is another way that as we mill we can actually deal a little bit of damage as well it's also just a nice little pickup for uh, olivia when you attack in obviously you can only have one of the drana and one of the morog so it's nice to have something else that you can kind of pull out with that this is a card i didn't even know existed uh i'll be honest and so it's kind of cool to see something brand new in a deck like this uh very curious to see how this one works out but all that to say guys again i just want to thank uh affinity for mtg for creating this list sharing this list please go check out his channel as well it's truly fantastic but 
let's do it guys let's jump into the games let's see how we do all right guys here we are for game number one and yeah i mean this is pretty straightforward hand easy easy keep we've got the uh shambling ghast here for turn one with the deadly dispute for later so i mean can't really ask for a better hand we also have the red mana that we'll hopefully get with um or we'll hopefully use for an olivia down the road so uh yeah seems great we also have the fell stinger something to keep in mind too we can just uh wait till turn three and then fell stinger exploiting this so an eye witch i think i'm gonna go for the shambling gas though uh, I think I'd rather have this out. It looks like we're going to be up against a creature deck here, so I'd uh, I'd like to have that available to us. All right. Um, yeah, I think we just pass. We can throw this out and then deadly dispute if we'd like, uh, just to save ourselves the damage. Um, if they've got a fight spell, we'll deadly dispute anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, very good. Fully expect that they're going to have a Blizzard Brawl here at some point, uh, which is kind of terrifying, but it's not the end of the world. We'll do this. We'll go ahead and Deadly Dispute. We will create a Treasure Token. We're not going to worry about, obviously, giving something minus one, minus one here. Um, and there we go. We are all of a sudden up to quite a lot of mana here. I'm going to go ahead and lead with the Red Source. Um, yeah, I think we just play the Eye Witch. Seems pretty straightforward. Next turn, honestly, we can take a hit this turn, and then next turn we just blood on the snow, killing everything. Um, doesn't seem like a bad way to go. <laughs> okay, so they are going to get to uh, throw that counter down, which is quite good. Um, but it doesn't trigger, crucially. They don't get to draw a card quite yet, which is very, very nice. Uh, hmm. We could do quite a lot of things here. Um, weirdly, I think it's the pest summoning. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of odd, but uh, I, I kind of think that that's the play. Um, I think we just blood on the snow. We'll destroy all creatures here. Um, and then we do get uh, one of these little guys back. I think it's the eye witch here, actually. Um, being able to uh, pull a card from the sideboard seems very important here. And now we're up to four mana again, so next turn we can drop a land. We're up to five. We just need to survive an extra turn, basically, and then we might be kind of okay here. Um, they've invested quite a lot of mana into the Ranger class already. Makes me kind of think they don't have a lot in their hand, and this is kind of, I think, proving that point. Um, now, still worth noting, we do need like another blood on the snow or something big here and we just don't have it so i'm gonna pass leaving up the uh block as we need it so we'll see uh thankfully we don't have an enchantment or an artifact that they can blow up so this really doesn't matter um it is a very good like tech card by the way the trap breaker um very very cool it helps deal with a lot of these little class cards and things like that that you run up against um I guess we should have done this. That was kind of a mistake. Uh, that'll be fine. Or this. I don't know why I was thinking I could instant speed do something. Made no sense. It is what it is. It's fine. Uh, throwing out the Death Toucher would have been very helpful. <laughs> um, okay, so they were just looking for some lands, and they certainly got them off of the Ren and Seven here. Um, all of this is kind of okay. Um, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world either. Let's go ahead and do this. We can exploit off of the pest summoning as we need to, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, what do we want? Um, I don't know. I guess it's this, because we can play land pest summoning exile Renin 7 with the necrotic fumes. That seems pretty good. Let's just make sure that though that's the correct play. I think it is. I mean, we could play some of these big things and I certainly want to, but that Ren and Seven's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and do this. Get that out of there. Um, they've got two unknowns in hand. Um, and we do have at least a pest to block. 
or wait and fell stinger also an option um i don't know we'll see we can drop this and then attack uh with by putting an extra land down which is kind of nice they we need a blood on this now i think is the the option here So I think we take this and then fell stinger exploit. I think that's just the play. We really messed up by not playing that one turn. I don't know why I didn't. That was really stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. The death touch is nice. Chances are we might just die here though. Uh, we do lose two life in this process also, which is not good. But I guess we gain one too, so that's helpful. Whatever. Uh, land. Guess we play the merchant. It's a decent blocker at the very least. We also get a treasure token out of it, um, which I guess we'll just go ahead and use to throw this down. Kind of unfortunate. We didn't really get where we needed to get for this one, but that's okay. We will figure it out. Um, no Olivia, which is kind of kind of surprising. I would have hoped we'd have one by now. Um, or a second blood on the snow. That would be grand. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Cool. I think killing that Renan 7 was important, though, so I'm glad we did that. Um, but... I think we're definitely uh, kind of out of luck here. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um, I mean, that makes sense, I suppose. I assume they throw a counter there. I am in a double block. Um, I understand that that uh, has trampled, but we still saved ourselves quite a bit of damage, so let's see what we can pull back here. Um, is it just the Fell Stinger as a Death Toucher? I think it is. We're just not drawing what we need here, unfortunately, guys. Um, we can play this, but it just doesn't matter. There's the Olivia. Uh, that's what we needed. We could have attacked with Olivia and gotten some more stuff going, but I think here we're just very, very dead. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, they can just attack with Faceless Haven if they'd like. Oh, they... Oh, I guess they still can. Uh, they may just play a creature off the top. We might get an extra turn. Probably not, but you never know. Um... Dreadhound. Very interesting card here. Uh, it is just a big 6-6, six, six, so, like, there's that. Um, hmm. So the opponent just activates Faceless Haven, attacks in with everything, puts a counter on probably one of the 5-5s, five fives, and then they just win. Not one of the five fives. Okay. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, they got us. Unfortunate game one. We really just did not get what we needed there. So let's jump into a game two and hope for a little better. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and this is a bit of a slow hand, but I think we try it. We've got no turn one, really turn two play either. Um, but we do have a Skullport Merchant, which is going to help us ramp. So that's worth it. I'm gonna keep playing these as we don't really need an untapped source yet. <laughs> um, now we do. Uh, draw quite a lot of land with this deck. That's interesting. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're gonna counter it. That's fine. Uh, annoying, but fine. Definitely slows us down, so. I guess to be safe, we go I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this down. They can have another counter, that's fine. I don't, we can deadly dispute at some point. We can exploit itself if we'd like. Um, I'm gonna decline to do it though. I kinda wanna keep the threat around or make them burn a spell. Uh, looks like they're just gonna siphon insight here though. 
which is very good against us because we do have some very, very good spells that they could hit. So let's hope that they don't. Um, but they are kind of far off from casting any of the big stuff. So we'll see. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, blood on the snow would be really bad for them to, to hit off the top. I don't want them to have that. Uh, that would be tremendously terrible for us. Um, all right. What do we got, opponent? What do we have? Oh, they have a fell stinger of their own. Okay, cool. Um, let's see if they exploit. They certainly can, and it would make a lot of sense. Yeah, they're gonna do it. So they do lose two life, but they draw two cards, which is very good for them, I imagine. Um, and they're leaving up what, like faded hope mana. Um, let's drop this. Let's attack see what they do they may just take it which is perfect um and we'll go ahead and throw out the undead butler very crucially here we can just deadly dispute still so um if they happen to have a kill spell or a sweeper or whatever we have outs we also just milled an olivia which is important because we can bring it back if we'd like with the uh, undead butler here okay uh this is fine Interesting. All right, let's see what happens. There's a second black source, so they're up to five mana here. Um, what is this? Is it exile of one target creature? Okay, uh, that's pretty good. We're going to deadly dispute this. Uh, we get to bring that Olivia back this turn. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> um, take action. I would love to do that. Let's take that Olivia into our hand before they can exile it. That's kind of a nice little trick. Um, <laughs> we also get to draw two cards and give ourselves that treasure token. Seems pretty good. Uh, we'll throw this out for black. I think we just go for it. Um, awesome. Yeah, I mean, I assume they have a kill spell here. Yeah. Annoying, not the end of the world. Let's attack in for three here. Uh, this Felstinger has done six damage to our opponent, which is, I think, quite relevant. Um, they're down to 12, so let's see if we can we can push it even further. I guess, alternatively, we could have left this up as a blocker, um, but I think it's worth it. We've got another Olivia in hand here, so like, eh, it is what it is. I also just have Dread Hounds. Um, we're going to attack in first. I'm not going to play Olivia this turn. I'm going to wait um, and play potentially Morog, actually. Or... Let's go for Drana. Let's see if this lands. Uh, I fully expect they've got a counter here. Um, that's part of why I didn't just go for the, uh, the Olivia plays, because I fully expect they've got something to do here. They're going to divide by zero. Okay. Uh, very annoying that our hand is clogged up with all these six drops, five and six drops, just because we can't double up on spells this turn. Um, but, Bellstinger's putting in work, man. It's done, like, what, nine points of damage this turn? <laughs> or this game? Which is pretty solid. I mean, for a little three-two, I'll take it. Uh, the death much very relevant, uh, makes it difficult to block. Now, crucially, they, I guess, will ultimately win this race, though, by attacking because of this. Um, so that is quite relevant, but get to mill or exile two cards here, excuse me, and deal four damage. Ugh. All right. Uh, and again, just more Dranas. All right, let's go for the Olivia play. Screw it. We have nothing to re- oh, we do have something to reanimate, but fully expect they can kill this. Maybe? Maybe not? We're in a fell stinger, for sure. Uh, the question is, do we exploit it? I think not, actually. This is nine points of damage. I'm gonna decline. 
Ah, we should have done it. Dang it. Missed opportunity. We definitely should have done it. They played us there a little bit. That's fine. We should be, I guess, leaving this up. I guess that's the problem. Uh, worth it, though, they didn't have a kill spell. So now we know, uh, which is actually quite relevant because that just allows us to throw this out there again if we'd like. Uh, we have no more creatures, though, so they don't gain life like they have been. Um, they still get four damage in, though. So I guess we have to leave this up this upcoming turn. It's just the only thing we can do. Blood on the snow. Uh, interesting. Again, nothing we can do to stop some of this. Um, I'm going to throw the Dreadhound down here. Olivia's good. It doesn't actually solve our problem. Dreadhound is a much bigger threat uh, that we can just kind of leave up here. Um, they lose a life. And I think we just pass. I think that's just the play. Um, I've been kind of aggressive with the Fell Stinger because it's a difficult thing to block, uh, but they haven't really needed to anyway, and now they need to have either a Sweeper or two Kill Spells slash Bounce Spells to be able to... Wow! Uh, wow. Okay. Okay! Uh, we're just... We're just gonna go ahead and concede. Uh, good game. That was... I've never even seen the whole Breaker Horror. Wow. Oh, that feels bad. All right, let's jump into our final game. All right, guys, here we are for our third and final game. Uh, and unfortunately, this hand is quite bad. Uh, none of these cards are playable. We do have all the land we need, but that's really about it. Uh, and so I think we do need to send this one back is a little better. It's not amazing, but it's definitely better. Um, I think we'll throw one of the Shambling Gas back here. And we'll see what happens. Uh, we've not... Wow, we drew a third Shambling Gas. Um, we've not had the best of luck with this deck, but I am not deterred. We will still have a fun time with this, so no worries at all. Uh, Affinity for MTG is a fantastic deck builder, so it's really fun to see these uh, decks that he's put together here. Let's go ahead and put this out, and we'll throw another Shambling Gas out. Um, I'm actually gonna attack. If they want to block, we just kill the 2-2. Two -two. Seems like a free point of damage to me. Um, next turn we can Fell Stinger. If they don't level this up, we actually can kill the 2-2, two -two. Um, but we'll see. Interested to see how they play this. All right, so they're gonna pack leader. That's fine, actually. We can, we can deal with that. Awesome, okay. Uh, so we're gonna take the opportunity to kill the two... Uh, we can't yet. Um, I guess we'll just create a treasure token. That's fine. Uh, we'll draw two cards. Create the treasure. That's just gonna guarantee us an early Olivia, I suppose, so that's worth it. Wow. What are these draws? We have had very unlucky draws, it seems. Um, okay. Well, here we go. Uh... We are not doing so hot, but that's just the reality of it. Um, positive note here, we do have the Fell Stinger as a good blocker. Um, we can kill this pack leader if we'd like. Which I think we happily will. Um, I'm actually going to do this. This guarantees us next turn Olivia. So I kind of like that play. Um, yep, we're going to drop that treasure token and go for it. Just seems like the right play. Uh, a very early, like what, turn four, Olivia seems very good. Um, obviously they can fight it off at some point here, but like, that's still pretty solid. Obviously we are ramping into something uh, and I'm sure they're keenly aware of that, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's play Olivia out here. And we are gonna attack in Fell Stinger, I imagine is the correct play. Um, the question is, do we exploit it? I kind of think the answer is yes. Um, we ran into this issue last time. I think we go ahead and exploit it. We'll draw the two cards. We do lose a couple life in the... On what are these draws? We have gotten so unlucky. A Shambling Ghast and a Faceless Haven? Like, I mean, Faceless Haven's not bad, but that's about it. Um, 
I fully expect that they can attack in and then fight off this Olivia, which is part of why I fell stingered. Um, they've got the lands for the Blizzard Brawl that would make this indestructible, so it just seems like an easy way for them to get rid of it. Okay, they've got Old Growth Troll. That's a good card. Um, I'm going to throw a counter. <clears throat> and they Blizzard Brawl. No. Okay. Uh, well, my mistake then. Let's do this. Uh, we are going to attack in. Uh, this time we'll fell Stinger, but we probably won't exploit. Um, or I guess we could have with the... Ah, kind of messed up there, I suppose. But that's okay. We'll let this hit. Awesome. Um... And I'm going to throw out the Shambling Ghast here. We, what we should have done is Shambling Ghast first and then Felstingered exploiting that. But now we can lay the Faceless Haven in as a blocker if we need to here. Um, and then this obviously can block as well, creating a treasure token, which would help us potentially. Depends what we draw. <laughs> uh, we've not been very lucky with our draws so far, so let's hope for the best. Uh, at the very least, the Faceless Haven can trade with one of these. Um, which is worth it. Blood on the Snow would rot not go amiss at the moment. They're just attacking with that. Okay. Uh, it does have Trample, so that makes sense, but I'm just not going to block that. We could have double blocked, I suppose, with the Faceless Haven, but... Doesn't seem ideal. We are just drawing lands. This is ridiculous. Um, kind of insane. All right. Uh, what can we do? We can throw the Faceless Haven at them. I don't know. We're just going to go for it. Um, we'll get a Shambling Gas. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I got a block with the pack leader, which is fine by me, because uh, that's very important. Um, and they're going to kill off their 4-4. Okay. I'm actually okay with that trade. Uh, that seems pretty useful. Uh, we can throw the undead butler down. We got three lands off the top. Again, very unlucky off the top. What is this? Um, super unfortunate. But that's fine. What do they have? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, you just got me. Uh, dang. No wonder they blocked the way they did. That was awesome. Even with our blocks, we would have lost that game. So, wow. Very, very cool. Not great for the deck, though. Let's talk about it. All right, so again, I just want to say a huge thank you to Affinity for MTG for sharing this list, putting this list together. Uh, you can go check out his video on it. He obviously is the creator, so he knows better how the deck is played. Obviously, we didn't do so well with it. I don't know if that was down to my playing. I definitely misplayed a, a number of times, so I, I can think of a few areas where I definitely could have improved. But I don't know that we would have necessarily won anyway. I don't feel like we had the best draws um and i don't want to just blame it down to bad draw but i feel like in this case that might have been the case um all that to say regardless it was still a fun deck um i love a good reanimator strategy as you guys know i've been playing a lot of reanimator decks recently we played jund esper now rakdos we'll see what else we can come up with but regardless it was still a really fun time so again thank you affinity for mcg for sharing thank you for you guys for watching Please make sure to like if you enjoyed it, and of course subscribe if you were not already. It really would mean a lot to us. But until the next gameplay video, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.